Hey PCW fans, Pastors Gray and Ann coming at you with another update about what's happening here at PCW. Uh, I want to invite you to services this Sunday, 9.30 and 11. I will be preaching this week on the uh, well-known parable of the prodigal son or the parable of the two brothers, probably better known, it should be better known as. I'm looking forward to that. We are going to be doing some really cool stuff in between the services this week. Uh, in between the 9.30 and 11, the Mission Council will be putting together our power packs for Valley and for our daily bread. We're going to try to put together 300 of them. Um, we're going to be uh, including chips and granola bars and nuts and crackers, applesauce, all the things that needed for these power packs. Uh, and these are two uh, organizations of which we uh, historically have had our connection with and uh, really are good mission partners for us. So we encourage you, if you uh, are at the 930, stay and help put together power packs. Uh, and if you're coming to the 11, come a little early and you can help out uh, and put those together so that we can deliver them out the following week. And that will be in the gathering space. It will be in the gathering space. Sure. Go so ahead, on April 1st, this is no joke, um, Joe Taff is going to be presenting his lecture recital for his doctorate. We're very excited to support him. It will be happening here at PCW in the sanctuary at 7.30 p.m. So we encourage you um, to come and uh, support Joe, and it should be some beautiful music. Yeah, He's this is this is going to be, be great because it's going to finish up his doctoral work. It's going to be phenomenal, yeah. and this is and it's going to be a great concert. Performing kind of a piece that maybe yeah. has never been performed, I think. Right, yeah, yeah. and he's... So. Just getting back uh, this week from Vienna, where he actually studied the original, like manuscript or whatever it was of this of this the score. The score, I think you call it a score. yeah, call it a score, yeah. <laughs> uh, and really incredible. So come on out to that and see a lot of the work that Joe has been doing over the last couple of years. Uh, next up, we uh, on Palm Sunday we will be collecting uh, one of the Presbyterian annual collections, which is called One Great Hour of Sharing. Uh, and this this donation goes to three amazing Presbyterian organizations. So Presbyterian Disaster Assistance, many of you know about that. That is an organization that helps long term with areas that have had disaster. Um, they are they commit themselves not just for a short time but for a long period to help those who are uh, going through disaster situations to recover and get back on their feet. The other one that it supports is Presbyterian Hunger Program, uh, which is exactly what you think it is. It helps support hunger initiatives uh, throughout the country and around the world. And then finally, the Self Development of People. This is a this is a kind of organization that really helps uh, create. Um, ways for people to help take care of themselves, whether it's education, um, whether it's you know providing them uh, what, like animals and things like that that help provide them to help sustain their own livelihoods. So it's a really cool mission. You can look up those online through the One Great Hour Sharing Peace USA special offering. So we encourage you on Palm Sunday to give as you feel called to help support uh, our One Great Hour of Sharing offering. Uh, to help these three incredible organizations. So in that Sunday, Palm Sunday, April 10th, not too far in the future, we will be having one combined service at 10 a.m. in the sanctuary. And then right after it, we're having our youth auction to support our youth and um, their preparations for their mission trips this summer. Um, so we hope that you will be able to participate in all of the the activities and things going right. on. Right, should be great to come on out and have that pancake supper with the youth and help support their mission work. Uh, that, however, kicks off Holy Week. So Palm Sunday is the beginning of Holy Week. We really encourage you to come later in the week to a couple of the services that we are going to be having to really do this journey with Christ through Holy Week. So we're going to have a couple of extra opportunities for you that week, uh, April 14th and April 15th, uh, for you to participate in worshiping alongside this Holy Week uh, journey. So first off is April 14th, Maundy Thursday. We're going to have a meal, a simple soup meal at 6 p.m. with communion around the tables and reenactment of the foot washing. Uh, uh, we're going to be telling that story and kind of showing you what happened that day. And then we're going to proceed into the sanctuary at 7 o'clock for a Tenenbrae service. 
uh, should be really meaningful and prepare us for the next service, which will be Good Friday. Um, and that is April 15th. We're going to be joining with some of our ecumenical friends, uh, Friendship Methodist, Wyoming uh, uh, Baptist Church, and then First Liberty uh, Baptist Church. And we're all going to be doing that at Friendship Methodist. So we're going to have a service at Friendship Methodist at 7 p.m. And we're going to have a Good Friday service that's going to be focused on the seven last words of Jesus Christ. So uh, really encourage you to be there. Ann and I are going to participate in the service. We're hoping to get our music folks involved as well. Um, and then that'll, that'll kick off that Good Friday, and that'll lead us then into... Easter, but before we get to Easter, yeah. a couple more notes about Monday Thursday. Yeah. So one, we've got some folks who have volunteered to help with the cooking. We're going to have some soup and some bread, very simple supper. It would be helpful if we had some people who helped with serving the food um, or at the end to help with cleanup. So if you are able to help in either of those ways, please contact Mo Miller. She's trying to get that organized. Um, and then the other piece is that um, we're hoping that the, the time in the great room is going to be uh, a great opportunity for children to learn about Jesus's Last Supper, um, about communion, to participate in that. If you want to bring your children into the sanctuary for the Tenebrae service, you are welcome to. But also Adam will be providing some programming for children during the Tenebrae part of the service. So if you're like, I really want to go, but I don't know if my kids can hang that long. Um, Adam will be um, doing a little bit of programming with our children if you want to be able to focus on the worship service. Great. All right, I think that is it. God bless you all. We look forward to seeing you on Sunday and have a good rest of your week. Bye.